Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing kind of a little bit of a different video where I just want to play around with some makeup and chat with you guys about life and everything that's been going on lately. Um, hello to my new subscribers here and thank you for all the love on my tattoo video recently. I think this is going to be the next video coming up after that. Um, so yeah, if you guys don't know, um, I live at home and my mom runs a daycare upstairs and this is the only time that I can film this video and if it's loud, I really apologize, um, but we're gonna try our best here and just play around with some makeup. I really don't know what kind of look I'm going in for today, but I'll list all the products that I use in the description box down below because I don't know if I'm gonna be talking about them too much throughout this video. I kind of just want to like touch base with you guys and let you know what I've been thinking, how I've been feeling, you know? So if you're interested in that, uh, keep on watching and let's just go ahead and get started. I don't even really know exactly what I want to talk to you guys about, but I don't know. I just feel like chatting. So right now it is August and I've been out of summer school since the 22nd of July. So like what is that? Yeah, so I've been out of class for like a week and a half. And f the first week there, I was like pretty sick and just super run down. And I just took, you know, time for myself and just slept really late and did whatever. And I'm getting pretty over that now. I have been waiting for this month of August, my like only week off in between classes for months now. And now that it's here, I'm like so exhausted and drained and I don't know what to do with myself. So that's kind of silly. Oh, I just didn't, I didn't wipe my beauty blender. One sec. Like I was saying before, I finished my summer classes about a week and a half ago. And now I don't really have much for obligations for the month of August. I, I wanted to, you know, get a job and be able to make some money for August. But my school schedule is going to be really intense um, this fall and I don't think that it's reasonable for me to have a job, be committed to YouTube and school for um, the school year. So I couldn't really just get a job for like two weeks, you know what I'm saying? And um, Jaden and I are taking our one week holiday at the end of August since we've both been really busy this summer and we haven't really had enough time to, you know, spend quality time together. Why am I taking so long putting this eyeshadow base on? I can't do makeup and talk at the same time. This video is going to be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, so I don't really have much going on basically is what I'm trying to say in August. And um, I've been planning, I've been uh, planning on really committing myself to YouTube for the month of August. And my mom also takes holidays for the first two weeks of August, which means that there won't be a daycare living above my head for two weeks, um, which is going to be really nice for YouTube purposes to be able to film videos um, more during the day. So yeah, I don't know, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but it's strange because now that I've had this time off, I've been like so tired and so drained and I feel like the whole like school year and the whole like summer school time I was like oh my gosh like I have so many ideas there's so many things I want to do I just need to wait until August and now that August is here I'm just like oh my gosh I don't know I'm like almost overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that I want to do and like just like don't even have the energy which is like so stupid because this is like all I want is to have this time and I really really need to make the best of it I'll be so mad at myself if I don't but I also can't like burn myself out and then start school in September and just be a hot mess. So <laughs> I'm trying my best to balance all of those things, which is difficult to say the least. And I don't know, I get overwhelmed sometimes because I set really high expectations for myself. And then, I don't know, I feel like I have all of these expectations and lists of things that I want to do in my head and then it's just like all comes to a halt and I'm just like ah stop everything right now I just need to lay down <laughs> like that's how it feels even though like right now all of my to-do lists and all my things are all like self-inflicted like it's all goals 
that I want to do for myself, but I still tend to overwhelm myself, which is just stupid, honestly, because I'm in like total control and I act like I'm not sometimes. I don't know. Does that make any sense? I don't know. It's so strange. I feel like when you're really busy, it's so easy to be like, oh, like, once I have the time, then I'll do that. Once I am finished this, then everything will be better. Once, I, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's so easy to be like, oh, like, it's just because um, I'm in school right now. Like, once I'm out of school, then I'll be able to work on all of these things that I want to do. And right now, I just can't do it. And then you're out of school and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's so much I want to do on YouTube. Like YouTube is such a huge priority to me, but then also at the place that I am right now with my channel, I feel like I need to be making like a certain type of video that is going to get searched and you know, be able to, people will be able to find my channel from like videos that are kind of popular on YouTube or I don't know, like I just kind of common videos that are like in my category if you will like to check it ready with me which I'm actually like really enjoying doing this video um and I don't want to do any videos that I don't enjoy but like there is a long list of videos that you know are going to help you in a sense grow your channel because people you know like those videos and know to look for those types of videos and whatnot and I don't know it's a little bit it feels like I'm putting myself in a box if I want to just do all of these videos and don't get me wrong I have a lot of video ideas that are you know unique and um, I feel like I feel like it doesn't really matter what type of video you are going to make you can definitely make it your own but at the same time it just feels like I can't do exactly what I want to do yet for a few reasons um, a big one being, you know, financial, um, reasons because there's a lot of YouTube videos that I would love to make that are expensive, um, or like a lot of, you know, equipment, um, changes that I would like to make that are expensive and obviously that comes with time but it can be discouraging sometimes is all i'm saying so i watch a lot of different youtubers and they all are kind of in their own category but the hard part is oh gosh this is a hot mess look okay so i watch a lot of different types of youtubers and they're all in different categories but i'm interested in all of them which is kind of difficult because you know each of them kind of have found their niche and they stick to their niche but I want to like, you know, bounce around and play around in all the categories, which I feel like, oh my gosh, does this look poopy? But yeah, basically I just have a hard time coming up with video ideas because I'm interested in so many different facets, which like, I don't know, can you tell I'm like a huge overthinker? Like I know obviously I'm a tiny YouTuber and I, this is the time that I have to you know, play around in different fields and understand what I enjoy. But I'm just such an overthinker to the point where I feel like I need to have everything figured out like right now. And then that is like a little bit debilitating. So yeah, I mean, good times, right? I don't know. And I'm a little bit nervous for this school year because YouTube is so important to me and I really want to be able to post at least weekly videos but my um, workload for this school year is a little bit intimidating and I'm worried that I'm going to fall behind on that goal of mine which obviously I have to put school first because of the amount of money that I'm investing in it and you know but it's just frustrating when like YouTube is honestly like a bigger goal of mine um, which might sound like really dumb to a lot of people but that's just how I feel so it's a little bit frustrating um, when I feel like I'm gonna have to like kind of I don't know just put a couple other things first 
which obviously that's just life, but it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of frustrating. Okay, let's get on this face makeup so I start looking like a human. Okay, other things outside of YouTube. Something that I have been trying to figure out is better routines. I am like not a good person at sticking to healthy routines. I don't know, I'm just really funny about routines and I am like a very... I don't know how to say this without sounding like a psycho, but I'm like a very like obsessive person where like I find something that I really enjoy or really like and I do it a bunch and then it just stops and there's no like real understanding of that. Like I don't know how to explain. Like with food, with anything, like I don't know, like I will have this, I'll find a, like a snack that I like or a breakfast that I like. And I'll have that like every day for like a month and then I'll like never want to eat it again. Or I was taking my dog for a walk every single day and I was taking him for like at least like half an hour every single day for like probably about a month and then I missed one day for whatever reason and then because I missed one day it was like I could never go again. Like it was just over. Which is like so stupid but like I don't know that's just like how my brain works sometimes. I don't... And I really don't like that, but I don't know how to change that about myself. And it's kind of stupid and really frustrating. I want to be able to balance things better than instead of being like an all or nothing person, because that's kind of how I am most of the time, if I'm being honest with myself. It's funny too because I really want to film like a morning routine, night routine type of video but like I don't really have a strict routine and I don't know. Does, does everyone like, is that like a myth? Does everyone have a strict like morning routine like you do every single morning or is that just like in movies? Let me know because I feel like that's never been me. I've never had strict routines but I do want to like um, get into routine at least for like this month of August before school starts obviously things will have to change once I'm in school um, but I don't know I do want to make myself a routine for August and just like get into a little bit more of a productive mindset so maybe I will do that and then still film a video on that if that's something you'd like to see or how common are routines like or i don't know am i dumb i want to almost make myself like a work schedule for the month of august like almost like schedule myself like shifts for like youtube stuff i don't know that might sound like a little bit extra but i just like need some sort of structure to be productive or else i'll just like like oh yeah I'll do that later tonight and then Jaden will come home from work and I'll be like oh I gotta hang out with Jaden and then I'll be like yeah I never ended up editing that video because I was being a butthead so I think I I want to try to do that I'm excited also for um this school year because I have um since I won't be working at a job I will have like my weekends off and um, hopefully we'll be able to still, you know, dedicate a lot of that time towards YouTube and other goals of mine. And then I also don't have classes on Tuesdays so far. I do have to switch one of my classes, um, but I'm hoping that I can keep that one day off. Um, it would be really nice to even just do homework or whatever, or if I am cut up then to be able to edit videos or whatever. And it's gonna be really interesting this year um, because Jaden, um, my boyfriend, will be in school as well, which is, this will be his first year at university. And I think it'll just be really cool for me because I've always, never really had like any of my high school friends or anything like in university with me much. Um, so I've always been like kind of just, alone at school like I just go to my class and I just come home or whatever and 
that's never been like a huge issue but it's also I've never like really had anyone to like encourage me to study or you know spend time with me while I need to work on an assignment or whatever and it's nice that Jaden since we do live together as well um, will obviously have homework of his own and you know we'll have to get into like kind of a school routine together which will be really cool I think we're gonna have to like take the bus together in the morning and all that kind of stuff and I'm actually really looking forward to that aspect of things I think again it will just help me <laughs> get into like a productive routine because the left should be someone like holding me accountable I won't just be like oh I don't need to go to school today because it's just a work period whatever I'll like still go because of Jaden hopefully we'll see how that goes so I filled in my brows for the most part what else did I want to talk to you guys about I was just thinking oh yeah okay <laughs> um so I've been trying to come up with some I've been trying to get my creative juices flowing is what I'm trying to say and I'm wondering does anyone make mood boards like literally like seriously make mood boards because I was watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians. That has been my new show to watch slash listen to when I am playing Minecraft or getting ready. So yeah, I was watching that and they were talking about their mood boards and I was like, they make mood boards, hey? And they were like in the kitchen like cutting out magazines and I was like, hmm. So I was like, maybe I gotta make a mood board. <laughs> That was my train of thought. So yeah, I don't know. I actually have been thinking about making mood boards. The first person that made me think about it was Desi Perkins because of this picture she posted on Instagram, which isn't really a mood board, but it like inspired me to make something kind of like that. Which I think it could be like a mood board, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then when they were talking about it again, I was like, maybe this is something I gotta do because there's a couple things that I wanna do that I feel like I need to brainstorm for. So one thing is I want to start posting on um, Instagram more and I want to make a YouTube video out of, out of it as well where I like try to post daily for like a month or something like try to be an Instagram blogger for like a month or something something like that but honestly guys if you're like taking Instagram like seriously like as like Instagram bloggers do or like a lot of people that actually like do that for a living it's a lot of work and I just don't know if I'm like ready to take that on. Also, like I feel like a lot of it, I'm just like not confident enough in myself to uh, do the content that I want to do, um, which is like kind of, you know, a little bit sad, but I don't know. That's just the truth. Like it's a lot. And I don't really feel like I have like the wardrobe to like do like cool ass shots. Like I feel like I want to do, you know? But I feel like I'm also making up a lot of excuses and I need to stop doing that and just start, um, you know, working with what I got. That's going to be the theme for the month, you know, working with what you got. So <laughs> I think I'm going to make like a mood board of like outfit ideas, Instagram posts kind of thing. And then like maybe go like thrift shopping, do like little things like that that I can, you know, um, justify and start getting my Instagram game back up because it's something I used to um, be super passionate about like a couple of years ago I used to post a lot and like if you scroll back my feed looked like so freaking cute I think um, and then I just like totally dropped the ball on it like I don't even know what to tell you but I did like a lot of my uh, photos and stuff before when I was traveling and I haven't really done that in a long time so, you know, um, I just need to get back into the swing of things is what I'm trying to say. And I also need to train Jaden to uh, take photos that I like because boy just doesn't know how to give me a good angle yet. So, it's something we need to work on. He's like over here like shooting me like this. And he's like, oh, I thought it looked good. <laughs> also, just, um, I mean, a quick rant. Um, to watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians, outside of buying like all of the seasons, I think the only place that you can watch it in Canada is on the, I don't even know how to say it, Hey You website. 
and it sucks it absolutely sucks it's like the worst streaming platform ever the episodes will like i'll be watching them on my computer and then it'll just randomly like restart the episode and i'll have to like find where i was in it if you like exit if you like stop watching the episode like halfway through it will never save where you're watching the episode it's just a hot mess and i really want to start watching the um houseway no the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and stuff. I want to start watching those. Um, but I think the only way you can watch them outside of buying the seasons is on this website. That like, it's like a Netflix thing. Like I pay like $4 a month or something for it, which is whatever, but the website sucks. So, I mean, that's annoying. Anyways, if you guys know of any other better, better alternatives to watch these shows, let me know. <laughs> Hey, here goes nothing. I feel like I look like a different person with lashes on, like, good morning. Okay. I really want to try the KKW Beauty too. If any of you guys have tried it, let me know your opinion. Her lipsticks and stuff look super nice. Okay, what's gonna have to do for now, I think? I don't know, this was just for fun anyways. I, also I crimped my hair. Like, this is a couple days in now already, but I got this crimper off of Amazon. I'll link it down below if any of you guys are interested. But I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know what your thoughts are. So, yeah, I don't know. This was kind of random. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of all over the place. I just wanted to sit down and catch up with you guys and tell you all the things you didn't ask to hear. I don't even have anywhere to go with all this makeup on. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I will see you guys next week, if not sooner. Bye. I almost forgot to pose for a thumbnail again. Is that good enough for ya? I hope so, because that's all I'm going to do now. i got to pee. Are you still there? To delete the message, press 7. To save it in the archives, press 9. To hear options, press 0. What are you talking about?